hey, this is Rachel Gonya. Um, this is usually music and devotions with Ron and Rachel, but today it's just devotions, no music. Um, I uh, hope that there'll be some folks that join us here, um, but Ron is not with us. He's resting today. Um, I, di- I did bring a tambourine from church because I thought, well, that would be fun to play along with him. Um, although I'm not so great at keeping rhythm, but uh, there's no music today because he's not with us here for the Facebook Live. He is with us. Um, He's just in the house resting. I'm out on the back porch, and I hope that you can hear me. In fact, if anybody is watching, let me know if the sound is okay or not because um, I'm sitting out, and it is getting windy at points. you can see the trees blowing in the background, and it's um, a lovely day, and that's why I decided I wanted to be outside. Um, I absolutely love sitting out here on this back deck where I can uh, feel the breeze and hear the trees and the birds, and good. I'm glad Jane just told me she could, <laughs> the sound's okay, so uh, if it gets too windy, y'all let me know. Um, but that's why I'm using the headset. So I'm going to go ahead and, and light the candle. Um, if I can get this one to work. And maybe you can see the candle in the little corner there. Um, I hope I don't catch anybody anything on fire out here. Because that flame is blowing with the wind. Um, but I really did want to be outside today. Uh, Many years ago, um, Jesse was just a little little toddler. Ron was in the hospital for about six weeks. Um, he went into the hospital at, in August and came out of the, uh, the hospital in October. So he had missed that change of seasons. Um, and that's how this spring has felt in many ways that we've uh, been sheltering in place through the change of the season from um, the winter months into the spring and and now almost into summer. And it's a strange feeling like you've you've missed something there that there's just this block of time that's gone that you don't know what happened to it. But I was reminded of that because of Ron's stay in the hospital this past week. Um, He went in very late. I dropped him off um, at the ER and had to leave. Couldn't stay with him. It's the first time we've ever had to do that. And that was a a, a strange thing. And then um, we found out, uh, well, first, because he had a fever and his oxygen level was not up to normal right at the time he went in, he was tested for covid and um, spent 24 hours in isolation on the COVID floor. And I'll let him tell you more about that. It was a strange and eerie experience. Um, But he said, well, they told me somebody can can bring my stuff to me. And I said, well, let's wait till you're out of isolation. And then once he was off the isolation floor, he said, well, somebody can come stay with me a little bit. There's certain hours and you have to go through the screening, but you can come. So on... um, Sunday evening, afternoon, evening, I I went up to the hospital and I took him a suitcase and it was very eerie um, because I'm so used to UAB being a bustling place just filled with people and it was not like that at all on Sunday. It was very empty. Um, The hallways were empty and I, I went right to his room, stayed in his room for a little while, and then I came out and sat in the car so Jesse could go in and see him because there could only be one of us in in the room at a time. And uh, today I, I got to go and bring him home, which was wonderful. Um, but I spent all day yesterday there because he had a procedure, he had a pick line put in, and I wanted to be there um, in case anything happened. But I, I, again, just waited in his room um, while the procedure happened, and and all that went fine, and he's doing well, and he'll be on antibiotics for a week. So all that aside, but as I walk through the halls, um, it's a different place right now at the hospital. Um, m- most of the staff has on T-shirts that say "Stay home, uh, keep us safe," and um, 
everybody's wearing a mask and it is nurses week which is usually this great celebration of the nurses there and and it feels a little bit like there's not a lot of that going on right now so I was thinking about what to talk about, and all I could think about is how grateful I am today, how happy I am um, that Ron is home. I'm grateful that he tested negative for COVID. I'm grateful that um, it is a beautiful, beautiful day, um, and uh, that spring is here, and it feels more hopeful And there are so many things to be grateful for each day, even in the midst of of challenges, of demands that are placed on us that are unusual, of the stress that we feel um, during this season. There are things that we can be grateful for. And one of the things I'm most grateful for is uh, Pleasant Grove United Methodist Church and for how wonderful the folks um, at the church are and for the ways in which uh, you are a blessing to me and to one another. And um, I'm just grateful to to know all of you and to be with you. And for any of you that missed uh, Ron's not singing today, he's not up to that yet. Um, He's just a little, a little tired. And the home health nurse just left about 15 minutes ago. She got him hooked up to the IV antibiotics. But, um, <clears throat> but I just wanted to share my gratefulness today and my gratitude to God above all. And this is from, this is Psalm 28 that I'm going to read. To you, O Lord, I call my rock. Do not refuse to hear me. For if you are silent to me, I will be like those who go down to the pit. Hear the voice of my supplication as I cry to you for help, as I lift up my hands towards your most holy sanctuary. Do not drag me away with the wicked, with those who are workers of evil, who speak peace with their neighbors while mischief is in their hearts. Repay them according to their work and according to the evil of their deeds. Repay them according to the work of their hands. Render them their due reward. Because they do not regard the works of the Lord or the work of His hands, He will break them down and build them up no more. Blessed be the Lord, for He has heard the sound of my pleadings. The Lord is my strength and my shield. In Him my heart trusts. So I am helped and my heart exalts. And with my song I give thanks to Him. The Lord is the strength of His people. He is the saving refuge of of His anointed. O save your people and bless your heritage. Be their shepherd and carry them forever. I, um, I am most grateful for the way in which God has been at work, even in this time of challenge, and the way that, um, that people have worked together, even though we're apart, that you all have reached out to one another and been caring to one another, and and the ways in which you've you've carried us, Ron and I, in, in so many ways. And so um, that's what I'm about today, is gratefulness and thankfulness. And then I hold in my heart all those for whom this is still a very difficult time, whose uh, tests were not negative, Um, who are still suffering in the hospital. And I I lift up all those who are um, who are working on the front lines because that's truly having been in the hospital this week and seeing the doctors and the nurses there knowing how how hard they are trying to um, to work to save as many people as they can and to heal all those that they can. So I hold all those that are there on the front lines in my heart and am thankful that they're willing to do that because in all honesty, going into that space was was a bit scary to me, uh, knowing that the disease was in that building um, and that it could be in in places other than on that floor 
Um, although I have to say they have the best <laughs> procedures um, and they've got it down and they're really working hard to make sure that, that other people don't get sick as well. Um, and so I'd ask, do any of you have prayer concerns? I should have been watching the comments a little bit better. Um, not used to doing it. I'm doing this on my phone and I'm not sure I can scroll back. Okay, just making sure nobody had posted anything um, that they wanted to make sure we pray about today. But if you do have anything, you can post that. Um, I'd heard from Ron prayed more earlier that Donna, uh, Donna Ruth had gotten good news, and so um, we celebrate that as well. And for those of you that um, are card senders, you might send one to Miss Hicks. Um, Evelyn will turn 101 next Thursday, the 14th, so um, we celebrate that as well. So I... Um, I don't see anybody posting any prayer concerns, so I, I'm just going to say a prayer right now. Gracious God, I am so grateful to you today. I'm grateful for, for so many things. For the blessing of having a hospital and doctors and nurses and all those that make the hospital work who are there caring for the sick. We are so grateful that they are there on the front lines. Lord, we're grateful for healing in, in Ron's life and in the life of all those that, that are uh, experiencing that. And we're grateful for our Christian friends and those that we love and care about. We're thankful that, that your spirit is at work in the life of a church, even when we are not gathered together. And I am grateful for, for your love that is more than we can imagine. And we pray that um, we would continue to experience that great love. And we lift before you all those today who are struggling, for those who are not well and have not experienced healing yet. Might they especially feel your presence with them. Might they know your touch as the great physician. And might we find ways to reach out in love and care with all those that we know are struggling. We thank you that you are with us and walk with us every step of our journey. In Jesus' name, amen. And I am uh, sorry not to uh, have a song to sing, but you all really don't want to hear me sing by myself today. <laughs> so um, hopefully next, next week, Ron will fill up to it. He'll, he'll be on the antibiotics for the next 10 days, but... He's, he's feeling a lot better. He's just not up to playing the guitar and singing. So um, I... Making sure there weren't any more comments. Okay. But it's, it's good to see you all here. I look forward to seeing you Sunday. Um, there will be a Celebrate Recovery Fellowship gathering tomorrow. If you don't have that link and you want to join us, just email me and I will send you the link. Um, and Sunday, worship is at 1030. So... I hope you have a good rest of your week. Let's see. And I do not know how to stop it. Oh, there it is. <laughs> like I said, it's different on the phone, but glad to see you all here.